Welcome to Flecktown UK. Um, we have a, a, a sizable order today for a defence contractor, as in somebody that supplies to uh, to a military, um, as opposed to the military itself. Uh, what they're after is uh, 2,000 rounds of inert 308. Now, when I say inert 308, this is basically a 308. They want theirs on a disintegrating belt, so it's belted together to go through a machine gun. Um, this particular round is live, and when I shake it, I can hear powder inside. And if you look at the primer, it's unindented. And if you were to load this in a gun, you'd basically fire the projectile off at a great speed. They probably manufacture this, but this is not what they want. What they want is something like this which looks exactly the same, only it's inert. And when I say inert, it basically doesn't have a primer and it doesn't have powder inside. Um, they don't want it full-sized, which basically means that um, it won't go through a machine gun again. So they're not going to use it for training purposes and stuff like that. They're probably going to use it to test ammo, ammo boxes. So they probably have a contract of some sort where they uh, have to supply the stuff boxed in ammo cans and they want to test the ammo cans and make sure they're up to it. And so they probably take the 2,000 rounds of inert ammunition which we supply and they're going to load it up in an ammo can and probably drop it, I don't know, from a helicopter from the back of a lorry, God knows what, to make sure that their ammo cans survive. Uh, the reason they wouldn't use live ammunition for something like that is because the worst thing is if you have thousands of rounds of live ammunition that is deformed and can no longer be fired. How do you dispose of that? I mean, uh, it's a nightmare. So it's much easier just to come to us and uh, we can supply it. And then if it's deformed, you just crush it or give it to the uh, 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 metal recycler or something like that. Uh, they could probably do this themselves. But um, if, you, if you manufacture like that, you manufacture in quantity, you manufacture millions of these things at a time. And there's a massive production line the size of two houses bolted together. And from the point of view of retooling and all that, it's just not worth it. It's just much cheaper for them to come to us. So that means we have to do 2,000 of these. Now, what we're not going to do, we're not going to start off with a live round and take the powder out and take the primer out because that would not only be wasteful, but also incredibly time consuming. What we're going to do instead, we're going to start off with fire brass, which has basically been through a gun and the powder is burned and the primer has been set off. Uh, we're going to remove the primer. They don't want a primer in these so that they can check that they are uh, inert. And then we're going to wash it, put a new head on and uh, package it, well, belt it first, put on a belt, that's going to be a lot of work. And uh, then we're going to package it and send it off to them. So that's our project for probably the next two or three days. Um, I'm going to start with uh, setting up uh, the Dillon, which is our loading machine, and then uh, we're going to basically pull the handle until we've done uh, 2,000 of them. Welcome to the Dillon. In this case, it's a Dillon 650. It's a slightly older model. They've produced a 750 now, and it's going to help us to process all our brass. Now, since we're using fired brass, uh, it'll be dirty and it'll still have the primer, the fire primer in the uh, primer pocket. Our very first step is to remove that and that is because when we do remove it, the primer pocket is dirty. And in the final result, the customer wants to have a primer pocket which is obviously clean. So what we'll do, we'll pop the primer out first and then we'll wash the cases. Now to do that we have a machine over here and the way it works uh, we feed the cases into the uh, station one locator at the bottom and then when we pull the handle this decapping die universal decapping die is basically going to push out the primer and uh, there we are so basically it has separated the primer from the case and at that stage, we can wash this guy. The only trouble is I have to do 2,000 times. So uh, yeah, enjoy watching.
Let's see what So we've now loaded about three boxes worth, should be around 250 rounds, to keep track of uh, how much I've done. Every once in a while I'll get my dirty big pot and I'll put on the scales, I zero the scales and uh, I have weighed 200 rounds of empty D prime 308 brass slash 762 brass and that comes to about 2260 grams. So let's see how much we've got here. So that is about 980, that is 2,190, and that is 2,260. So this is about 200 rounds. So at this stage I'll put them into the wash pile and uh, the two wash bag and when the two wash bag uh, has about six eight hundred rounds in then we'll put about 500 of them into the wash all right time to pull the handle again Hopefully this should be the 2000 and I have to tell you I'm pretty much at the end of uh, caring. <laughs> so uh, let's see where we're at. That's 900. That's 1800. That's 2160. 2000. 2,200 right so that should be exactly 2,200 Two. that should be exactly 200 and that should make 2,000 in total now what I will do is I will churn out a few extra what have I got here an extra 10 I'll probably make another 10 or 20 cases just so to make sure that uh, when it comes to heading up if we have uh, defects that we have to throw out that we still end up with a grand total of 2,000. Um, I'll probably put in an extra uh, 10 or well an extra two belts of 10 or so uh, when we finish the order just in case we are short or there are problems that they on a large order that like this that you have a couple of extra in case they can't use one or two of the belts. Um, that's basically it. All right, washing, hurrah.